Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reedsy, and today I'm going to be sharing five things that you should do before you hire a professional editor. If you want to know about the professional editing process, we've got two videos that we recently did on the topic, one that goes over the process and one where I talked about what I learned from working with a professional editor. Today I wanted to go a little farther into it and talk about the things that you should consider doing before you hire an editor to know when your book is at the right stage to be seeking a professional edit. Step number one, self-edit your book. If you send an unedited first draft to a professional editor, you're probably going to be spending a lot of money on this professional edit. The more work the piece requires, the more editing pass it's going to require, the more labor intensive it's going to be for the editor, the more money you're going to end up spending. Unless you have a lot of cash sitting around and are really clueless in how you're going to approach your self-edit, it's probably best to do some self-editing before you approach an editor. Self-editing includes doing structural edits from which you might want to get feedback from other people, whether that be from your critique partner, from beta readers, whatever way it is you usually like to get feedback. Getting feedback from other people to help strengthen your structure and iron out continuity issues and clarity issues can be super helpful as well as just doing line edits and cleaning up the book to be as polished and as strong as you can make it. Number two, know your category and genre. Now a lot of people definitely know this and are fairly aware of what their category and genre are, but a lot of people kind of just write a book and then they don't really know what the target audience for it is. If you don't know the category and genre of your book, it's first of all going to be hard to hire an editor who specializes in the genre and category that you're writing in. As well, it's going to be harder for them to know what they're editing, especially if you're writing kids lit where there are a lot of categories broken down for the different age group. Your editor should know what kind of book they're reading so they can edit it accordingly, so they can point out things that might be too old or too young for the age category. And of course with genre, you really just want to be able to find and work with an editor who specializes in the genre that you write in. Number three, figure out your publishing path. Now most of the time people who are hiring professional editors themselves are those who are planning on pursuing self-publishing. But there are also traditionally published authors who want to work with an editor in order to clean out the book before they query it in order to increase their chances of landing an agent. But if you are planning on pursuing traditional publishing, be aware of the fact that you're going to be working with an editor through the publishing house. And although some authors do choose to work with professional editors, it's not necessary. If you don't feel that your book needs the professional edit and you've gotten feedback from other people and really the book seems ready to query, working with an editor could be an unnecessary expense because you're going to be doing that later on down the line and you're not going to have to pay for it yourself. If you are self-publishing though and you're sure that you're going to be self-publishing, working with an editor is pretty much a must in order to get your book polished and ready. So before you decide to hire an editor, really think about what your publishing path is so that you don't end up paying for a full professional edit for a book that's then going to go through an equivalent edit later on down the line. If you do want to traditionally publish and you really think you need to work with an editor, it can be really valuable for a lot of writers in order to help them get that agent. Step four, timeline your publishing path. If you have already set a release date and announced your release date and now you're starting to work with an editor, make sure that you're going to have enough time to do all those edits before your release date. If you really know when you want your book to be out, think about the time frame and make sure that you can do all of this in the time frame because there's a lot that has to go into publishing a book, the design, the editing, the marketing, organizing your launch, and you want to make sure you have time for everything. Know what you need in terms of time frame so you can communicate with your editor when you're requesting a quote and also know where you can be more flexible and where your timeline is really set. And finally, step five, set a budget. The edit is probably going to be the most substantial investment you have to make. The design is going to be a big investment as well, but oftentimes the edit is really the bulk of where your money is going to go. Before you hire an editor, budget out your entire publishing plan because there are going to be a lot of small expenses and they can really add up later on. If you don't think it through at the beginning, that could run you into issues with things like the design or even just all of those little costs that might start to pile up, things like paying for copyright, things like buying an ISBN, things like paying for any marketing assistance, costs involved with organizing your book launch, paying for a domain for your website. These are all little things that can add up. And if you're not really planning and budgeting out the cost from the beginning, you can run into trouble. So those are five things to do before sending your book to an editor. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe for new writing, editing, and publishing videos every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.
，拜。